my workshop's finished. Or at least temporarily finished for now. It's up and running, operational, sorted. I'll show it to you at the end of the video. But now it's time to get on with some priority jobs. Let me show you the first planned priority job inside the house. Your perspective there's the dog there's my shed this is downstairs studio that's the view right studio under the house in here used to be an office we just got some rubbish dumped in there for now. This side, some shelving. Uh, and that's in a bit of a dog leg. So the plan here is fill in this wall across, straight across there. Take out the shelving. Take out that wall. Behind that is a toilet. And it's just a toilet. There's no shower or basin uh, for the studio apartment. So take that wall out, make that the bathroom. Uh, this is the studio itself where my daughter lives. She lives in here with the two boys, one boy, two boys. So it's a decent sized space. She's got her double bed over here by the two windows. She's getting new windows coming on order. Uh, the boys live in here with her, don't you, Chandler? Right? Hey? Yeah. And Joey. Uh, yeah, so she's got a nice big fridge there and sideboard. This is all temporary, temporarily laid out, waiting for daddy to refurbish her whole space. So over here, in here is a kitchenette currently, and the toilet in here. So that's the wall with the shelves on the back of it. That's coming out, making that a proper bathroom with shower and a basin. And then this space will become a walk-in wardrobe. And later on, this will be the kitchen with a new big bay window there. And out here, Get rid of that door, get rid of that door and build in a little porch kind of thing. A little entranceway porch there with the two doors open. But this project, number one priority is to make a shower and bath bathroom for the downstairs studio for Ashling. That's a bit of a surprise. We've got a original weight bearing concrete or brick 
wall and door in the cavity. Uh, Ashling will have to change her floor plan just a little bit, but it's not going to get in the way. I think we can work around that. Uh, I wouldn't propose to take it out at all. Might take the actual door frame out of it and square it up with concrete. But it should be all right. But a bonus in this is that that is a significant cavity there. It's about 400, maybe yeah, 400 mils. So when I take that out and another one in there, it's gonna give her more floor space than anticipated. So I'll keep demolishing. At least show Ashling some progress when she gets home at about six o'clock. It's now probably four o'clock. Just checking to see if there are any other surprises in there. But I can't see much. <coughs> Brute force is the only way to get these out. Because they're nailed in, I can't unscrew them. They were never meant to come out, probably. Excuse my nakedness too. It's a very humid day. It's not particularly hot, but it's overcast and very humid. I've been a good tradesman, I've vacuumed, cleaned everything out, tossed it in my shed. Uh, pleased with that afternoon's demolition work. So that's Ashling's bathroom demolition day one. So it's time for a quick shed tour now. Everything's set out and organized and semi-tidy. So I'm pleased to show it to you. So let's start in one corner and work our way around. That's my Azito tool rack and battery charging station. Little bench that was there when I bought the shed, but I'll probably take that out. Probably take that shelf out too 
and put those boxes somewhere else. That's an off cuts stacker. This is the third iteration. Bloody dogs. The third iteration of my sheet goods stacker. It's a good proper one this time. The others were a bit unstable, especially when you pick them up on the pallet jack. So this one has an A-frame that goes all the way up there. It's got a bit of a shelf in the middle as well. I can put lots of sheets on there and they're very stable, even when you pick them up on a pallet. My thicknesser is sitting on that old bench. Um, the old bench is getting in the way a bit at the moment, but I wouldn't have the heart to chuck that out. I like it. It's a good old girl. I got that. That was in the house in Canberra that we bought in 1999. So it's way old and I've had it since 1999. Uh, that's the wood stacker I built. It's now got four bays or four pillars. So plenty usable. Uh, this is my storage stacker. My storage cube, I should say. Sits in the corner here. There's enough room to walk around it just without turning sideways I can walk through there the pallet jack is just living there out of the way uh, this is my Triton tool cube I've now got drop down power from the ceiling so the Triton tool cube lives here in the middle of the floor with enough room behind it there sorry that's the in feed side enough room to feed a full length sheet in there so back back at the box there's enough room here to feed a full size sheet might have to move that storage out of the way while while I do it for width but lengthways is fine where it is uh, no other power tools on that cube except I do have a USB charger for my phone and an extra power point there if I want it. Um, I haven't settled completely on what I'm going to put in this stacker but some of them will stay there. It's working out for now. Uh, <clears throat> this is my main tool cube got the drop saw the grinder which has a broken cable at the moment the router um, the sander and a saw what do you call them band saw uh, and all of those are plugged into one power board there which is fed power from the drop down up there. The electrician was here today, put in some extra power points for me uh, and put in those lights. I've got, uh, there are 6,600 lumens each. So it's very, very bright in here, which is great. I love it. That rattling you can hear, that's my roof. There's some loose panels on my roof, but I'm not going up there to fix it. I, we are getting a quote from a roofer to fix it properly, put, in, put new sheets on and insulate it too. So the electrician put a double there, a double there, a double inside the box for the telly another double in that corner another double behind there another one up there for the
train uh, two over here on the side of the door and one up there for my drop downs uh, so that's um, in total after he's put them in I've now got 25 power points in my shed and I'm very happy about that you can never have too many power points uh, and the lighting's terrific so my TV and radio have their own power inside the box now no more uh, extension leads coming from awkward angles I haven't shown you this in the corner yet I'm making a separate video on that but that's my beer fridge pallet and of course that new bench you've already seen me build is working out really well I'm very pleased with that an old CD stacker here which I use for screws and nuts and bolts and nails uh, I'm happy to have those benches here too I still have room that's empty I think that's empty no chisels but that one's empty uh, and those have various tools in them it's just handy storage that one under there is still empty that red cabinet is still empty oh yeah Mike pointed out Mike, my friend Mike Mike Hughes pointed out when he saw me putting in the drill press that uh, I didn't leave any room for long pieces to go into it so with the electrician here the other day I had to move that and when I put it back I put it in on an, at an angle so I can go out that way with longer pieces so thanks Mike I didn't think of that when I put it in there but now it's uh, now it's sorted and obviously obvious obviously this is a temporary setup just to get me up and running until I get some priority tasks done in the house uh, and once I'm released from those tasks then I'll tuck into the shed properly and get it looking a million dollars ish half a million maybe Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like and subscribe. All those YouTube things. Leave comments, I like to hear comments. Um, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.